What is going on guys, DBG here, and today, I just, I just gotta make this video, honestly, um, because I had other videos planned, I plan on getting Corey Kispert, I actually don't mind playing this game, and I just wanna put that out there, I actually don't mind playing this game, I had a video, I was gonna get Kispert, I was gonna, I plan on streaming, I had a top 10 point guard, basically, I have a best players tier list, tier list was already made, I just couldn't get myself to record it, couldn't get myself to make a point guard tier list or not point guard tier list, a top 10 point guards video like I've, at least i've got all my videos sorted for tomorrow but i gotta make this because i kind of gotta get off got get this off my chest because i don't think i've necessarily said it on youtube and there's a lot of like I'm, i end up i tweet a lot about it i'll talk about it in videos and i i think i just gotta make an entire video just addressing all of this I think I gotta make an entire video about this um, because I hope that I don't need to keep talking about this. I really hope I don't. Um, I'm honestly half considering just deleting Twitter, just getting all, just getting my mind completely away from this game because I'm not even gonna say NBA 2K22 is not fun because as a basketball video game, it works really well. I'm just going to put it out there. This game works fantastic. Like, I have never once said, in the middle of a draft game, in the middle of an unlimited game, you know what, this is the worst 2K of all time. Like, I thought so much through 2K21. I hated that game. With a passion, I hated NBA 2K21. But this game is way better. But this game mode might be the most toxic thing I have ever attempted to do. Like, it's tough. So first of all, I'm just want, I'm just gonna show you guys this right now. So if we don't if we remember for locker codes last year. If we remember for locker codes last year, so we have my team dash this is a locker code we have here so my team dash signature because i did not talk about this last week in my video about the truth of my team i'm going to try focus on different points obviously some of it is going to overlap because this is not going to be a scripted video this is just going to this is just me honestly um just talking about the mode talking about my opinions on the mode after two weeks because my opinions after two weeks are differ quite a bit from my opinions after one week so you can see right here, those bottom spots are inc <laughs> are incredibly, incredibly difficult to hit. Like you are getting, like whereas last year the pack was in pack was in sixty six percent of the spots last year. Like it was harder to miss the pack than hit the pack last year. This year it is very difficult to hit the pack. So two tokens or a converse shoe boost again and again. I'm color. I've, I meant I say this all the time. Why are the ye bright yellow and green two different colors? There is no reason why 2K can't just make it red, white, red, yellow, white, blue. Why are there two colors that are so similar to each other? Like, like this is just another one of those things where it's like, I'm badly colorblind. I know a lot of people watching the videos are badly colorblind because I'm not the only person, because people keep saying it in my comment section. That's again, it's just 2K's just lack of care. But that's not a big deal. Trust me, that is, I'm. that's just, something i'm angry about because i'm just kind of angry about this game in general but you can see it right there they made the locker code thing even harder to get the main prize the locker codes this time last year i'm pretty sure actually from season two onwards there was a there, were, there used to be guaranteed pack locker codes the packs on fridays used to be guaranteed packs it was never always the good pack the new pack was always hard to get but there were always two other packs now you're getting tokens or meaningless shoe boosts for freaking converse shoes like what i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't want to give a shoe to kelly freaking Ubre. but um yeah that's that's just kind of another thing that 2 2k have done and honestly the more this game mode right here this game mode right here has the potential to be the best mode of my team if 2K made a proper draft and they let us enter with MT, this would be the best mode of my team. But that's not the point of what 2K are going with in 
in my team. And the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking, you know what? All of my complaints are actually 2K. A lot of my complaints, and I'm not talking about the individual developers because I can guarantee you they're trying to make the best game possible. But a lot of the complaints that I'm personally making, most of the complaints about this game are coming from the guys that don't spend the money. Everything in this mode is not only designed to get people to buy packs, it's first and foremost designed to get people addicted to the game. It is first and foremost designed for that. So we all know about My Team Unlimited. When you get to the pink diamond tier, when you get to the pink diamond tier, you are facing the same people over and over again. If you're in Europe, I'm in a group chat with all the competitive guys in Europe. They play the same players over and over again. I know someone who says he has played the same six players probably six times each in the pink diamond noble tier. SPMM. And again, SPMM is cool. It's cool. But you need perfection. So if you lose, if you lose one of those games against competitive players, what's the point? You're out. You're out. So what's the what's the mentality? Most people, they lose one game. Be a say if you were allowed to go nine and three all the way. If you are skilled at the game, you're going nine and three most of the time. I'm just putting it out there. Like, I could go very easy. I'm not confident that I could go 12 and 0 right now in European service with my team. I'm pretty sure. Like, again, I think that if if you were to give me, if you were to put me right into the Opal tier, I were like, you go 12 and 0 right now. I think it's a 50 50 chance whether I win 12 games in a row. But if it was nine and three, I reckon there is a close to 100% chance that I go nine and three against almost anybody, unless it's the literal nine best players or 12 best players in Europe I face. I'm very confident of that. But because it's 12 and 0, I go 11 and 0, and suddenly I come up against Fat Balls, I come up against Fake Tumor, I come up against Danny, I come up against Vardo, and I lose. I imagine if it's a close game, I lose by 10. The first thing I think is, I'm gonna, I need, I need better cards. I need better cards. So you open packs. And that's just the way, that's just the mentality of most people. Whereas my mentality, if I just feel like I can't complete, compete is I won't play. Simple as that. Like I always say it. Like if I feel that I can't compete with my team, I'm just not going to use my team. But again, I'm confident that I can beat 99% of people in the world with, with my guys. So I'm still cool with that. But I feel like I would walk away. If I felt like I couldn't compete, I would just stop playing the mode or I would stop playing that specific mode. I'd stop playing Unlimited. And that's kind of what I did last year. Like I didn't have much of a team. I didn't care much about Unlimited. And because I just kind of felt that it was, especially once SBMM came in, it was really driving people towards trying to feel like they needed to get that one extra player. Which, I mean, isn't a... Uh, isn't the greatest thing in the world, but I don't actually mind that. You know what? I do not actually mind that too much. Because it's a little bit like FIFA, where you might lose out on the rewards by one game, and your thought process is, oh, if I just had that one extra player, if I had that one, if I had that Mbappe that my opponent had in that one game. And you know what? That's like, that is for me, I would call that like acceptable pushing people towards packs. Like I don't, I hate the way this mode has no rewards. If this mode get better rewards, I don't actually mind the fact that like they're pushing people towards packs in that way. Because I don't believe that that's frustrating people into buying packs. I, do, I think that the game mode in general is driving people away from the game, but I don't actually think that that's the worst way. Like if they, if 2K, we all know 2K are going to make money. We all know what they're going to be doing is not ethical. I, do, I personally believe these packs are gambling. But in this scenario... I think it's probably the most ethical thing they've done this year. But with these modes right here, the 100, domination, domination's irrelevant after, after a month. Let's be real, it's irrelevant. Challenges, doesn't really matter, but say this mode right here. There's a vault. They make sure that the rewards for playing a bunch of games don't mean anything. That the only rewards that really matter are the vault rewards. They very, very, very carefully do that. And the only rewards that matter are the vault rewards. Because, again, I've been looking up a lot of the stuff about like problem gambling, just even to look at some of the stuff that I'm doing to reflect on some of the stuff I did last year, like opening packs, even with disclaimers, doesn't matter. Um, 
like in reality, there's nothing anyone, anyone can do to stop the problem gamblers, the problem gamblers playing this game, and the problem gamblers that are opening these packs. There's no amount of disclaimers, no amount of showing them that the packs are bad that's going to change that. The only thing, thankfully, I believe they're showing every single pack and how bad they are is going to do is it might stop someone who's on the fence from opening packs. But unfortunately, it's not going to stop the people that have become addicted. And that's the thing, is that this vault right here, it's the waiting to see whether you win or not that hooks the player. So again, when I'm looking through a lot of things with gambling, and yes, this I do not personally believe that this is gam like this is not gambling. This is not like gambling your money away, but it's the same scenario that the goal is to just get people hooked on the game. Like if you're waiting for that vault, as soon as you hit that X button, especially once you see that green, you see that long like animation play, you're thinking, oh, what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? And then 99% of the time you're getting one token or 500 MT. You're like, oh damn, let me do it. Let me go again. Let me go and play another game. Let me try to get another vault. It's to keep people hooked on the game. And the exact same with TTO to 100 is that the reason why I believe the 100 actually works really well. I actually don't, it's nothing to do with the whole like ball system. It's that when you play a game and I'm going to call it the flappy bird effect. I'm going to call it the dark souls effect, the flappy bird effect, where these games are so like frustrating, but they're like frustrating. But when you overcome it, it becomes rewarding. So like, for example, if you went all the way up in TTO, you could chill, kick back, play TTO, not play that much defense, just go and play. And if you're good at the game, you were winning 75% of your games. I, that's just the way TTO was. That's the way it was for all of us. That's that's why I used to call it the chill mode. And I think if 2K had one, if what if the game mode that comes out of Christmas is just a chill mode, then I'm genuinely, I will genuinely be happy. But there is no mode that you can actually just sit back and kind of relax in. Because the draft is dead. The draft was that when everyone had free draft tokens, but the draft is dead. Like, it's dead, dead. Maybe not in America, but it's, it will soon be dead, dead. Dead, dead in Europe. But it's a Dark Souls effect. You play a game and you could suddenly concede 12, 13 points. Your attitude is, I'm going to play the game again and try concede less points. I'm going to keep playing. And... I think that from looking at my responses, it genuinely seems that everyone is kind of in two boats when it comes to TTO. That this the 100 has either completely turned them off the mode or they're hooked. And I think that's the way 2K are going with everything. I personally believe that's the case with everything in this game mode. The game is not designed to bring in as many players as possible. This game, like... I play a lot of FIFA, and that's the reason why I can see the big differences here. And I'm not preaching that EA are saints. My God, EA started EA started this all, and I mean, if 2K hadn't taken the rain, EA were the worst. EA are, are awful. But the thing is with this game mode right here, is that every single mode is designed to do two things. It is designed to get the guys that are going to play this game seriously hooked. And if you're hooked on this game you are more likely to go into this mode and hit this button. The casual player does not matter in 2K, for 2K. It's clear. It's clear. And I bring up an analogy all the time. It's that 10 players play my team. In previous years, maybe eight players keep playing, but maybe there were a lot of other ways, great budget cards, some, some certain like types of free stuff, easy grindable cards that only one of those eight players that still played opens packs whereas now if 10 players take up my team none of them are actually like really enjoying themselves eight of them say you know what i'm just gonna stop playing my team or i'm gonna play another game and two of them become hooked on the game the eight previously maybe just played the game somewhat casually and now whereas there's only two people remaining, two people left playing the game. Instead of one person being hooked in the previous scenario, now two people are hooked on the game. And they're making and those people that are hooked are worth a lot more money to 2K than a hundred people like myself. And that's one of the things like that it's just the way the game mode's going. 
It's just the way the game mode's going. And I I don't like it. It's not gonna change. It's just not it's not gonna change. And I'm gonna continue to do everything, everything I can to preach playing this mode without spending any money. I'm gonna do everything I can to pull not only myself, because I'm in this toxic cycle with 2K. Like, I'm getting so angry about it because I'm like, it's frust every I'm just getting constantly frustrated, but I come back and play this game. I'm in the I'm in the cycle. And I'm gonna do everything to pull this year to pull myself out of that. Only pull myself, but to make content to get people out of it as well. Because it's hard to make this mode fun. It really is. Like, like I'm not a Henry. I'm not a Jay. I'm not this ultra entertaining, good editor, high high production value content creator. I'm a person who plays my team or documents myself playing the game, all the stuff I do, and puts it up on YouTube. And it's been very evident in my streams, it's been very evident on my channel that while I'm still playing the mode, there's still so much to do. I still have so many things to make content on that it's just getting more and more tiring to just put up with this. That there's no, there's nowhere I can even go to relax. Like last year, there was always triple threat. I could always chill and play this game mode right here. The AI is God in this mode. The AI was God in this mode. And his mode is now Dark Souls. And there are benefits to a Dark Souls system. But one of those benefits is not fun. There is definitely a sen more of a sense of achievement by going up in this. And I do agree with that. Like, I personally believe in terms of sense of achievement, there is more sense of achievement this year in my team. But the problem is, is that there's no fun. It's not. It's not fun. And I, I actually, the more I think about it, the more I play it, the more I understand. Like, I initially thought, and I was like, anyone who liked this mode was just in the 1%. And I'm actually starting to kind of disagree with that, my initial logic, because... I personally believe that anyone whose sole goal in a video game is a sense of achievement might actually legitimately have fun in my team. And if you're one of those people, please, please don't, like, don't change your mentality because of the hurt. Like, if you disagree with everything I say, and 99% of people agree with everything I say, please do not change your opinion, because that's the worst thing in the 2K community, is that... People change their opinion based on what's popular. Like I remember in the pre, in the pre-launch period, all the other content creators were hyping up to 100 because everyone thought, "Oh yeah, this is gonna be so cool. We're gonna hype it to 100." And then, like I was the one person who stuck with uh, this game mode is gonna be terrible. And then all of a sudden, everyone's mind changes, but everyone's mind changed at the exact same time. Like every, like have your own opinion. If you disagree with everything I say, that's fine. If you agree with everything I say, that's fine. That's one thing we don't seem to have in the 2K community is much independent thought. Like, or disagreements. Like, there's no, there's no nothing wrong with disagreeing. But, it's just the way the mode's going. I find it harder and harder to just have fun. And that's what I'm, I really, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try to do whatever I can to have fun with this mode again. Because I get non-stop messages from people saying they're quitting this mode. And yeah, I get it, like I vent on Twitter a lot. But like the fact is I'm getting DMs with people saying that they have the exact same opinion. And I know the 90% of the comments are gonna be like, stop crying, it's a video game. And I'm like, yeah, you have a point. But at the same time, my job is to play this video game. And I'm gonna do whatever I can to make this mode fun for people without spending money. That's what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep doing that, and I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to do that. Will I be successful or not? I don't know. If I'm successful, I'm looking forward to this year. If I'm not successful, my God, I'm just, I, I'm gonna be miserable. But um, that is my plan. But, the crazy thing, another crazy, crazy thing that I just have to bring up is that I'm getting a lot of messages from parents and it's kind of a lot 
to be kind of putting on to it's kind of a lot being put on me but so many parents talking about how the game has just been just a horrible horrible influence there's all not not even a horrible influence but like that their kids are suddenly getting angry non-stop at this game the game's bringing out bad emotions in them a lot of parents are coming up to me saying that they're they're trying to play the game with like their eight-year-old kid and they're trying to their eight-year-olds playing domination and rookie and losing by 75 points like where when did video games stop being about fun when did it just become about just frustrating people and like i get it there's always that sense of achievement and that's what keeps people hooked that's what 2k have done really well and i gotta give props because if that's their end goal it's worked it has worked they are getting tens of thousands of people hooked on this game mode um at sacrificing the fun aspect for the other like half a million to a million people but yeah that that's just something that that's just going through my head um if you're a parent and you're watching this um and your kids play this game mode just see how they are when they're playing this mode if they're getting if they're actually enjoying themselves more power to them if they're getting angry if they're getting frustrated constantly at this mode if they're suddenly spending all their birthday money on these stupid packs for fake virtual cards that are going to be outdated in a week maybe have a chat with them if they're watching certain juiced pack people with juiced pack openings and decide i want to i want to go and emulate them and open packs maybe maybe have a chat with them because or even just have a read of some of the stuff with fifa because these type of game modes groom so many gambling addicts and i think that these modes right here especially with the vault and with ball drops those aspects and the wheel spins those aspects are triggering the same things in the brain that gambling does while they're not gambling their money it's triggering the same responses in their brain every time they open the vault every time they open a pack every time they drop a ball so yeah um that's just kind of the final thoughts on my team um i'm obviously not it's just been something that's been going through my head all day um i've been i've been just thinking about this the way to draft which it's just the way everything's kind of gone in this mode and just the way my opinions are on this mode after a week after a couple of weeks and it's a weird one because this game is way better than 2k21 like i hated 2k21 from launch i hated 2k21 even when i was good at 2k21 i hated it i hated 2k20 at launch um gameplay wise but i there was something about 2k21 that i was like you know what actually making content for this does not seem too bad and this is the opposite i don't mind playing this game it's just all of the things where it's like suddenly i open a bunch of vaults i don't get anything i'm frustrated um there's something there's always something that happens i'll be making content i'll concede a basket when i shouldn't in the 100 and i get a little bit frustrated um i I go play the draft and I get the same three players that everybody else gets. The two rubies and one random amethyst. I am get I get annoyed. I play limited. It's suddenly five games and you haven't got a ring. You're getting annoyed. So it's just... It's the actual gameplay part. It's fun. It's just everything outside of the gameplay. It's just brought in to cause frustration. The whole concept of the mode is to almost cause frustration. I'm not even going to cause frustration. It's the Dark Souls effect. It's like the uh, the near misses is to get it's to tr- wire your brain like okay maybe next time i'll get it everything in this mode is wiring your brain to thinking maybe next time this game's no longer about okay i'm just gonna go on for 40 minutes and just have a bit of fun then i'm gonna stop and do something else the game's there to addict people to get people addicted and i understand why 2k are doing it this is but it like it is what it is and i think that unless my mentality changes towards this and a lot of our mental it's going to be very difficult to kind of pull myself out of it and i think that by changing my mentality i'm going to be able to improve my content and hopefully you'll be able to drag a few people out of the same rut that i'm in if you're perfectly perfectly happy like if you are perfectly perfectly happy spending all your time playing this mode if you enjoy 
if you enjoy the quote like next next time mentality if you're cool buying packs if you're over the age of 18 look more power to you but if you're in the position where i like i'm in where you're like it's just not it's just not a fun experience anymore and um, i'm hoping that over the next couple of weeks i can figure out some way to make content some way of playing the mode that's more enjoyable because i don't want to make the, have to make a video like this again i don't ever want to make a video like this because this isn't even talking about complaints about the game like the more i think about it, the more i think 2k have got exactly what they want they've got a small percent they've got more people hooked on the game than they would have if they made the game more fun and it is what it is so anyway sorry for the rambling video but it's kind of it's kind of have to just talk about this game because i couldn't get myself to make another video um i know just putting this out there i probably will be okay um tomorrow making videos um like i don't need a break i'm not burned out i'm cool it's just i was finding it harder and harder to get myself to make videos when i had these this, just these thoughts about the game in the back of my mind anyway yeah that's the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe